What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included Season 3. Now, for the next couple of episodes, unfortunately when I recorded, my software that I use uh, had an update and it seems to decide that it wants to mute the, the game noise. So for the next few episodes there will be no game noise unfortunately, but I have used the AI to chuck in some music in the background for you to hope that it does the job. You've still got me, don't worry. So we are straight back into creating of the rocket again. There is a few things that's happened between the last episode and now. Uh, most of it was infrastructure related. There was an episode on that, but again, the software decided to be an arsehole is the best way of putting it. So I am going to set a note in the future that this doesn't happen again. But in the meantime, we are going in to build the rocket. Now, if any of you have got any examples on how to build a rocket, or, or at least the, the interior of a rocket, please do s let me know. Or even better, if you could put some, what they call, pictures in the chat, or even on the Discord, that'd be great. Um, I am going to look for a mod, actually, to see if the... To see if there, there we go, words, to see if there is larger, better options. I'm interested in like a one, say, three or four times the size of this so you can have a proper, like, I don't know, group of 10 people. This says it's for 10 duplicates, but I don't know how you would ever get 10 duplicates in this with beds and food, etc., for a long distance journey. So, yeah, that'd be interesting. I think the most I've ever done is probably four or five, and they've had to share beds, which they don't do. So just throwing together the basics now to see what I want to do. Spoiler alert, what I'm doing at the minute is not going to be the final solution. I'm trying to get the morale boost from at least two, if not three, of the buildings. So you have the barracks for the sleeping, the toilet, bathroom, and the third one would be the mess hall. So I've moved over the control panel to make four rooms at the very least the gas pipe snaking i always do this it's not my idea i've seen people do it before uh, the same with the fluid as well you just snake it because the idea is snaking it over the entirety of the space you have is then storage each tile holds a bit of water and gas and therefore you don't have to have any tanks wasting space to do that job for you so as you can see here just snake it around and use every little bit of space that you possibly can that they can reach and plummet in. The same goes for the gas as well. See, actually, that person had zombie spores. Now, I'm sure we have the... Ah, yeah, this is where I screwed up. So when I did this originally, I thought I was done. Um, but these sick bays are not for the vials. You need the pods, the like test tube-looking buildings... These are for the medical packs only, the lower end, or sorry, the yeah, the lower end of the medical. So that's why they're not working. Uh, if you get the capsules that they go in with the syringes, they will use them and they are instantly healed. Get in there slowly but surely. The building is happening, of course. Once this is done, then I fill it all in with wallpaper and a few decor items to make it a bit nicer to help with their morale for their travels. Though, of course, the first destination is not that far away. Um, it's only the other island, so... Island? <coughs> Asteroid. Um, but we've got two beds in there, a bathroom. The toilet is the only option I would suggest. I don't know why anybody would use the other type of toilet, because it only takes up three tiles instead of six. Also, it chucks the dirty water, polluted water, just out into the atmosphere of space, or the void of space. I don't know why I keep saying atmosphere. A vent there to vent in some oxygen. So the gas the gas pipe will obviously vent into the, the, the shuttle. Once it reaches the limit that you set on the automation, it then backs up. Then the pipe fills up. And that is your storage. The water is similar, but you don't have any automations. It just fills up the sink. It fills up the toilet and then fills up the pipe. And that is your storage there also. I'm going to try and steal the oxygen from the inevitable amount of gases that we are already collecting. So we have these pumps that are automatically collecting everything outside of our base. 
and then storing that in wherever it needs to be so in the polluted oxygen tanks or the hydrogen tanks the only one that isn't is the oxygen of course the oxygen is just sent back into the system but what i'm doing here once this pipe is complete anyway is any oxygen that gets caught throughout the entirety of the map will go into the rocket now it will work but i'll be honest it's going to be too slow it takes a lot of gas to fill up the shuttle to the the, the necessary amount of pressure which is i think i said it for about three kilos and that's three kilos per tile so however many tiles there are in there times three kilos is how many kilos we need firstly and then each piece of pipe holds I think it's one kilo maybe more but yeah so we're gonna need a lot more than that so what you're seeing here is the beginning of two things the first one is I'm gonna rip out the Atmo suit stations left and right and I'm gonna make one Atmo suit station uh, that everybody goes through to make it easier to maintain them on the right settings also to make it hopefully easier to get the oxygen into them then the future plan is for the area above this that you're looking at now i'm going to go straight up and put in farms now we are struggling for food or we will be we can see we've got five million calories which is good but i know that that's dropping quite rapidly if you look over the episode you will see as we just keep throwing in duplicates, inevitably we are going to run out of food Second to that, the food that they're eating, although we've been surviving on fried mushrooms for 400 cycles almost, um, they are due now proper food. To make proper food, we need to grow proper crops. So as an example, to make the mushroom wrap, we need lettuce, which I don't think I've actually ever grown before, but it's not too difficult to grow. We need lettuce, fried mushrooms, and I believe it's eggs or an omelet or something like that. Uh, now, we almost have the resources for all of that, except, of course, the lettuce. Now, to grow lettuce, you need a first the seeds, which I'm pretty sure we have. Then you need to grow them underwater, so they're not like the lettuce you and I are used to. They grow underwater, and it has to be salt water, polluted water, or clean water which I'll use clean because we've got ample amounts of it. Um, and then they need to have salt water as irrigation. So they drink salt water but live under one of any of the other th waters. So the plan is uh, you go up the center as normal. Now I'm breaking the center down. The right hand, the, sorry, the left hand ladder I've, ladder I've canceled. The right hand ladder is the one that goes up into this. You then go through this and immediately are presented by the transit tube. The transit tube will then take them over to the right hand side of the map. It will go through the building that I'm gonna build above this if they need to get over there uh, or they can just carry on as normal. Of course, the, the Atmos suits docking stations that currently exist that are there on the screen at the minute, they will be ripped out and give us room for a, another well, room, whether it be bedroom, bathroom, or something else that we require. And the same goes again for the future plans for the mushroom farm that we have, I think, three of down at the bottom left of the base. Because, of course, we're now upgrading to this new automated system where we'll be using the sweepy docks to automate the harvesting and things like that. And hopefully the sweepers to do the planting of any seeds and fertilize him. Them three farms that we have will be opened up. That The carbon dioxide will be vented out and we get an additional rooms there as well. So we're going to gain some space in the base from all of this while also doing large upgrades on our other items. So there you can see I've popped the cap on the top there. Just this right hand side. So a ladder, plastic ladder, and a pipe. And then that will be filled in there with insulation. Just the insulation to help keep any of the temperature fluctuations from happening. Remember the base is now fully cooled to keep everybody comfortable. 
the doors on that left hand side there and you can see I'm ripping out all of those now and all of those as well. The doors then will be taken out and the flooring and insulation will be switched around to make them match the rest of the base along with of course the venting tiles to make sure that oxygen is everywhere and any carbon dioxide can escape to the bottom of the base to be transported out or pumped out basically. Ripping out the cables as well, starting from scratch because there's a lot of cableage here that I don't need, but likely I am going to need it for the new setup above. So if I rip it all out back to the actual ports here, I then know which ones I have spare and I can rewire them in as I need it. But I'm not going to have just cables all over the place for the sake of it. I like to keep it as tidy as possible and as necessary as possible. So putting in some more of the transit pipes to make sure the the areas that they can access are accessible, but also these older pipes that go to like the door that's there. Now that door is permanently locked, they don't need a, uh, a pipe going to that. Also, you don't want them going out of the airlock, putting on an Atmo suit, and then being able to teleport or transport tube into your base because then you will get them wearing the suits when they're not supposed to. If they are wearing suits and you let them in like them two just did, they can suffocate because the suit will run out and they won't take it off without actually having the the, the Atmos suit dock to tell them to take it off. So it's always important that you make sure that you don't leave them in Atmos suits or leave them in a loop where they can basically get back in your base with an Atmos, Atmos suit on. The only way in and out of your base should be through either a docking port for Atmos suits or a gas mask or your radioactive suits, whichever way you want to do it. But it should be the only way in and out and that way the automation will work where they go out, put it on, come back, take it off and recharge it. More progress made. Slowly but surely. Also putting in a sweeper actually somewhere near here is a good idea. Um, and then if the Atmos suits that I have spare, which according to the resources I have 11, um, then when I actually ask them to deliver it, they will, The obviously if the sweeper can reach the storage, they will do it for me. Now there is a mod that I have added and it is added to the group and that is a timer. So if one of the Atmos suit docks stays empty for more than 300 seconds, which is that five minutes or something? I think five minutes. Um, it will automatically set to deliver. So then it automates the process. If you have a sweeper and a storage for the Atmos suits nearby that can reach, and then that mod installed, basically it will automatically pick up all of these Atmos suits, store them and or place them in the docking station to be charged again automatically, which is crucial because what I have found is over a period of time, Seem to only use the first couple, which drains them out. They don't use the odd ones. Stuff ain't put back where it's supposed to be. You have to keep saying, deliver it to this, deliver it to that. And that is where I start to find, especially later game, where I haven't got enough people out there because they've screwed up the Atmo suits or they've been for repair and been reset. So this way, they're automatically going to get, when they get to the worn state, they will be automatically sent and fixed. They will then go to the storage container that is next to the Atmos suit docking station and the sweeper that I'm building now. They will then be placed in them said areas when deliver a docking suit is actioned, whether it be by me or whether it be by the timer mod. All we need to do then, of course, is make sure that there is actually enough oxygen getting to all of these ports. And that is a lot of Atmos suits, so it is proving difficult. I've broke it down into groups. Uh, in the hopes that we can, of course, monitor it and figure out where we're struggling. This is working nicely, though I do need to automate that as well because the duplicates are spending a lot of time going down there and refreshing the sand and polluted soil. Again, a person there with zombie spores. This is going to happen when I turn off the Atmos suits. And the reason I turn off the Atmos suits is because of what I've just said about them, where they get lost messy and then nobody can go out because there's not enough for them and now you can see i'm going along and clicking deliver suit on every single platform once again which is tragically annoying to do 
Um, but they do need to be on there in order to get charged and filled with the oxygen for them to use. So what I do is I'll set them all up. Everybody can suffer a little bit outside of the map. As long as there's no messages coming up about scolding, drowning, etc, etc, suffocating. I'll leave them to manage. I mean, although that person is moving very slow, they're not going to die from zombie spores, I don't believe. And we do have the cure for it. It's just I haven't put the stations in yet to actually use the vials and there we go so we just need to sort out the gas lines now you can see for the atmos suit dockings i'm trying to do sort of six or seven per income line but of course we've got a bit of a mess over here this line that you can see that is full of other stuff which is not just oxygen um we need to try and steal that out so what i'm going to do is pull it up and then build in another pipeline coming back that is oxygen only. And that might sound really complicated, but let's just jump and you'll see. There we go. So at most suit wise, the first ones are working nicely. And you can see now that we've got oxygen coming from a few various sources. And each source is only doing sort of four, uh, sorry, six suits and there are there are the um clinics that you require for the zombie spores which i don't know why i forgot about them i did it ages ago and i thought i'd finished i thought we was like oh great we've done with the hospitals now but clearly not now a hospital needs a water a sink basin water basin but yeah a sink plumbed in so i will rip out one of those and put in a sink there we go. So we've got a sink in there now, which means it is a hospital. Or it should be a hospital also, which means they can now use it. Now, the duplicates that have the zombie spores will automatically go to the clinic. Uh, and then they'll be attended by one of the high-ranking doctors that has the, the highest level of medical skill. They basically go in there. It takes a few seconds. They come out and they are cured and we are good to go. As long as I don't run out of the vials, we should be safe. Um, the vials require steel and sun eggs, sun nymph eggs, which is why we have a shines farm. That's the only reason we have a shines farm, following enough. Now, I am just sorting out this centre bit. This used to be our old in and out, if you remember. But it's now more of a, I don't know, museum. So we're putting in any of the random crap we get in there. And in doing so, I'm going to wallpaper it to make it look snazzy and also fill it full of plants. And eventually, I'd like to get some pedestals in there. And some of the quest items that you receive, I would like to get them presented as well. They only provide decor, but it's just a, just a sort of emphasis on what you've achieved throughout. And another part that I forgot to do, or at least I didn't do it because I didn't like the colours, I'm not sure. But the wallpapering of the medical facility, the hospitals. So with the new set of palette we've got, I've gone for the whitest option. It's almost white. I think it's off-white technically. But So all three of their hospitals will be white. Because I think, I don't know about where you're from, but certainly mine in the UK here are often very, very white. So we'll get that done. That'll also increase their mood while they're being medicated as well and it just makes everything better across the across the uh, morale of the entire colony because the higher you decor the happier everyone will of course be see somebody there in an, in an atmo suit that should not be and the top line is their oxygen so yes they keep taking the head the mask off to breathe which is terrible so keep an eye on that you don't want somebody rogue walking around in an atmo suit that shouldn't be for two reasons is it's not going to do them no good, but more importantly than that, it's an Atmos suit that you've built that should be on the docking station because refined metal is a commodity that you don't want to be wasting. The new cooling setup for the oil is working fantastically. You can see that whole entire oil section is now green. The cooling section is blue. It's just a lot of overkill here, but it works, so I'm going to go with it. One of the slicksters of hatch there, so we could do with making sure we have a farm. Oh, this will need to be ripped out as well when we move the farms up, so we'll gain two more farms there as well. Because we'll be growing all of the food above the base. Now, I did get some lingering oil into my water system, and to this day, I don't think I ever figured out how it happened. 
but obviously I crossed a a pipe somewhere or I turned on uh, I accidentally got oil into where the water's being pumped I'm not sure but it clearly happened I every now and again I see the odd bit of oil so I have to just pump it out like that or empty the pipe like that but it's it's fine but I think at this stage we are looking good again this all needs ripping out but we need to finish the hermit quest first so that I can get rid of his house and then use that top there also but for now we are at time so thank you very much for watching if you like the video please click like any comments are welcome as always again thank you for watching take care goodbye <laughs>